this week on Byron to Bordeaux, you go back to the beginning. You can tell it was love at first sight. We knew then this was our dream. Also, please forgive the footage as I was very new to vlogging. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> Thank you, Priscilla. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> see the chandelier. It's very nice. There's an alarm system, by the way, just so you know. Uh, so in which way do you want to go now? To, to the left. To left. Which was an old doctor's surgery. That's uh, to the main road. That would be facing west. Yep. So you would get uh, afternoon sun. Does that sound about right? Very high ceilings, four metre ish ceilings. Yeah, you look tiny actually next to the window. <laughs> Come have a look at the linking, the electrical. Do you have some tall friends that can. It definitely needs um, upgrading. Good time. Nothing's changed with that. <laughs> and we have an air con. That's nice. So it must get pretty warm during the summer. Well, it's... It, oh, because this was his office. Yeah, he probably wanted it. Receiving public stuff. So heating, air cons are actually very good heating. Yeah, well, that's what we... Very for yeah, that's what the, those are the heat pumps. That's what people. So call I think it. the floor is like a laminate. Oh, this is what they call heat pumps. Well, there's this is air air. This is using air outside yeah, yeah. pumping air. Yeah. And the heat pump is a little air closet to water because ah. you have a circulation of a water. So what we have is a linen, linen, linen closet, but it could also be used as a rise if you've got any plumbing and that needs to go to the second floor, which is what it's being used. Mm. Yeah. Which is important to hide things. And then so we go the back into. Room, on the left hand side, we've got your. Could closet. be our walk in row. And there's an actual entry here if you ever need it. To the garden. Yeah. The jardin. Yeah. And. You've got sconces. a toilet. And a. <laughs> sconces, sconces on the. She should not think at the same time. Brass. <laughs> toilet holder. And yes. then you've got your. <laughs> brass. Bathroom. With a lovely window. And another brass sconce. You got windows. Oh, yeah, that would make it very bright in here, wouldn't it? You'd have to. Welcome to your new bedroom, honey. Because <laughs> I'm not going upstairs. And the old, old style. Hey, like that. That's actually a decent sized bath. It just would need a shower, would you? And you're done. Right. Corridor. And we'll go over to the salon. To the right hand side of the entry. Look at this beautiful marble fireplace. Yeah. Yeah, it's a machine. So recently that you can either do the wooden ones. Oh yeah, I have them inside. Wooden yeah, on the inside. So much better. Yeah, they look nice. So we've got they're warm. Yeah. Mm. Double glazing. Aluminium, which would probably be replaced later on because of because of and this is, pleasure. <laughs> this is the parquetry flooring. You have an outlet in the floor? Ah, that's interesting. Yes. It's lovely to put, put a lamp in your lamp next to your chair. Correct. Uh, if it works, I'm not sure. Slide down with your own. Slide down with your own. Yes, it's good. Okay. 
So is this where you would watch the TV probably? Yeah, it's the salon. Yeah, so yeah, this being closer to the kitchen. Yeah. This would be... Or vice versa, whatever. I'd say this is the nice long table, dining room. Is there a light on in here? That yeah, chandelier is, is awesome. That's what's that for? How comes that I've been to the hallway? So you have two entries. Uh, yes. Ta-da. Wow, you. look at that chandelier, honey. I love it. That would stay, wouldn't it? Goodness. Well, you could try to get it. Again, it comes down to what might be in their family or something yeah. that they want to hold on to. Something from Australia. I like the picture. And that's again why we're filming. <laughs> but no, actually, what stays is the, um, what are they called in English? Sconces. Yeah, yeah. Because sconces. they're fixed to the wall. These yeah. are hanging, so they don't uh -huh. legally have to stay, so to speak. All the um, kitchen, all the kitchen. But you can the, put it in the contract that you want the yeah, 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 chandeliers. Of all the, um, the triangles, what are they called? Curtain rods, yeah. they stay. Mm. But the curtains are not obliged to stay. Oh, that's all yeah, right. That's, <laughs> that's okay, you can handle that. I can handle that. But I think they've probably seen better days. <laughs> there you have another air conditioning unit there. Yeah, I saw that. It, it and that's fine. where I'm a bit worried about all that leaking there. The, the, well, that's the because it hasn't been serviced. Oh, but okay. that aircon unit for this square meter each. It even, looks a little limited. Yes, it would. <laughs> But at least you have the holes already in place for the two that, yes. that you would run a new system. Or, but actually, we and have, if you got the right size cable, which you probably should have, right. that's a good positive plus as well. We have 60 meters square uh, mm. in mm. our home where mm. we have two units. Can we talk about the doors that we can see? Oh, the doors, I don't actually know, um, except for that I do know that there is an apartment of somebody who lives on the other side. Mm -hmm. And that, that that was an original access through that apartment. I don't know what's behind the door. I never opened the door. I have no idea. Speaky. Yeah, if you could. And that's a question to Question, Linda. please, yeah. yeah. Locked from both sides. It could be just two doors that are back to back. I don't know if there's a. What would know. you do with those doors? Would you take them out and redo the wall as you don't see anything? Or mm. I think so. I, I don't think, think you, you want to be able to, you don't need to be able to sneak into there. You can walk outside. No, but I'm thinking here. Oh, no, no. this door. What would you do with these doors? Well, if there is no access, I would just remove them. And maybe make shelves in them or and something. Use them, an and alcove. use them somewhere shelves. else. Yeah, you're actually you right. I a, like that idea. A doorway. So to your left in the, the cave is the pantry. It's it used to be a brick huh? <laughs> no, it doesn't. And we think that this is as best as this bit of ceiling here it needs to be removed. We've got a meter box up here too, did you see that Richard? So that used to be a doorway. That used to be a doorway then. Which you could open up again. But you could turn those doorways into like a little yeah. bookcase niche. Yeah. yeah. No, you've got this down. Remember we saw this? We watched one of those chateau shows and they chose either this one or one or They're expensive, one. those baubles. I'm sure. I don't know. Yeah. That sold it with the house. And what's funny, <laughs> it was in Bordeaux, the same shop we've been into. Oh, really? The same piece. That is so funny. There. 
And we went, we recognize it. <laughs>
which is the vanity and the bidet in this other smaller bedroom. I'm not really sure where this door goes. This door here, where does that lead? We're trying to find out. Do you have a, a square, you on your key ring, do you have like a square key? What are you laughing about? This is my tulip. I will tell you later, but you can't do it on camera. Okay. Don't break it. No. Let's leave it be. We'll find it. Just, it's a question to ask. Yeah, yeah. So you don't really need you want to put this that back? bidet and sink. No, yeah. I was saying, Preserve. yeah, we should definitely. Uh, I was saying you could do it. You could easily. I mean, if you wanted to have it en suite, you could do it like that. Yeah. Otherwise, you could just do a sink in here. Yeah. You and have the plumbing here. Because you have the main bathroom right there. So this bathroom, by the way, you could, in my eyes, it's huge. It is. You could do one from here, and you could split in half. Mm. Have a shower, a shower. But then the window is the it's problem. It's just the window that's the problem. So no, I would like leave it as a big and, bathroom. And leave it as it is, a family bathroom. For sure. What I would do. And you have the toilet separate. I would have no, no. See if you can get a toilet in that. That goes for that bedroom. This bedroom stays is if they have the walk out, and that's going to be a. Would you make that a total bathroom? I think people are no, no. okay with sharing bathroom as long as there's a spare no. toilet, a Go separate on. toilet. Guys, yeah. come have a look. See that there? See what that is? That's your walk-in, a built-in room. Oh, yeah. So you would... But what have they got behind that? there? Oh, yeah. That's your doorway. You'd have to somehow read... Oh, yeah, right. There is no there road is, there. Is oh, a bookcase? There is a, yeah, yeah, you can get through. Oh, there's a bookcase there. Would that be your doorway to your ensuite? suite? Yeah, maybe. maybe. Possibly. I'm just throwing things out there. Mm. Oh, so maybe. look to your right. <coughs> Lovely carpeted bedroom. With a step up. And you've got our AC. Which sits, which is good somewhere unobtrusively outside somewhere, which... Why is the radio up so high? <laughs> is it because this was lower? This has been raised or, you know what I mean? See, you got your floor here. Yeah, maybe at one point, oh look, look, maybe at one point they had it all raised. Mm. There's something... <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> I just <laughs> no, because you're you you see you know you being an artisan you know you know how houses are built so you're like looking like it's pretty. Now this is Gordy baby. We have a classic design. heating in here. It's all carpeted. <laughs> and that doesn't work. I feel like I'm in a '70s movie. And then we have the step-in bath and the step-up, as you can see, the step-up shower. Groovy baby. <laughs> and looking out to the veranda, which this is definitely the add-on part. I mean, this is not normal for these houses to have a veranda. Well, you think about it, you go into the bathroom there, the bath is sunk yeah. in. Because and same with the shower, because difference. of the height of this. Kind of strange. <laughs> I just wonder why they did that. I wonder if it was because if it was for fun or if it was... For funsies. Yeah, <laughs> for funsies. <laughs> So, Jan, double glazing is only on the street side only. Yeah. Sorry, I said I'm going to beat myself. That's right. <laughs> it's only on the street side yeah, only. No, no, no. <laughs> is that good English? <laughs> it's your front leg. Front leg. Two windows. Just try the light switch to you. See if So this, what's this bedroom number four also has a bathroom. I heard a rumour that this may have been a chamber box once upon a time because it's got so many bathrooms. So for, this is the fifth bedroom. So there's 
Matching green. I cut the word. So just to give you an idea, this was the ensuite, like the walk-in robes, and then you walked out here to the second floor stairs. So wooden stairs. Oh, sorry about that. The film. My, all my um, follow vloggers. My followers. You're an influencer, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Skylight. Lots of glass sconces. What's wrong with that? This is the kids' bunk room. They brought the light in. The light in, yeah. That's very smart. So I'll get it away and you look up. It's very like Parisian, you know? Ah. You now they do in the cities to. I wonder what. Is it above? Oh, we could probably oh, wait. It's the mezzanine. You know, there's a mezzanine in this room. That's wrong. Um, I'll be two seconds, Brazilla. Yeah. <laughs> so those are those windows that go out, you see? Mm. And then from that little. Yeah. Room there. Mezzanine that goes over the. That is a ginormous heater. Yeah. Is there a light switch in here? I don't see a light. Yeah, above uh, there's a door right there. You see a light? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like it could be over here. No. It's a very precarious electrical system right there. So what happened out there is obviously a, that um, safety glass, it's broken. Critters in here. I mean, it's in. Oh, yeah, it's wondering. Oh, she can't wait till we open the other room for the bird. Oh. Uh, just, yeah, yeah, we'll have a quick look and then we'll, because it's going to get skinny pants. We have a little birdie in here on the other side. Maybe it's still here. Maybe it might have gone. So this is part of the attic on the second floor. Me, Be careful where you're walking. I don't want any. Yeah, you're right. You never know was... what's under those boards if there's a hole or something. I'd say it's good to redo. Yes. Um, mm. Little skylights, <laughs> good which to you redo. could probably put Velux or something in to replace. Yeah. And then if you just go in there, it goes around. Yeah, just be careful, please. <laughs> okay. um, I'm just looking at the Bacard back, box. The back alcove in there that you could also... This is ceiling is high enough to... You could, you could fit this out, totally. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I mean, there's, plump, there's um, heating pipes or... Yeah, it's all heat. Look, turn behind you, dear. That's a good sign. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, there's he heating pipes. Okay, pipe. the bird's still here. Yeah, there's heating pipes behind you, so that's a, a good Poor sign birdie. that we could, if we want to renovate, you to do something up here. That's true. You guys, you do a proper, you have a trade in or uh, for another yeah. few weeks. Okay. Yeah, three weeks. Okay, good. All right. Can you turn that light on? I did. That's all. I'll turn that light off there. Great. I don't think this one works at no, all. And this is a bit of a scary room, I think. I do not I'm like gonna it. do it too. I do not like this low. I do not and like I am. That's just a beam. Yeah, but you can see it's kind of caving in, no, so no, they've tried to um, fix it. So you so do you just come this way? You certainly have some um, you'd be busy. <laughs> you'd be busy here. But I'm saying to you, you could. Wow. But the kitchen's still functional.
Thank you.